and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary, and alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson, and all about action from League One coming right up. It's Milton Keynes Dons, and they face Cambridge United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. On to Taylor. And he's lost custody of the ball here. And clears his lines. Shot attempted. And the keeper there to deal with it. Delivering it. And you need your defender to take charge. Well, they say opposites attract. These two certainly are opposites. The hosts come into this game having scored the fewest goals in the league this season. In contrast, the visitors have been the most prolific of all the sides in front of goal. Well, Derek, these fans are going to be curious today. First of all, how are their team going to score? And secondly, how do they stop the opposition? Let's hope the players have an answer here. And he successfully got past him. It's there for him. Good stop from the keeper. <laughs> Playing it in. Just over the crossbar with that effort. Really closing him down. Really getting stuck in. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Not taken away. He won the ball. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. The referee is given a corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. And an effective clearance. What can they do from here? Chance to play it in. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. This could be dangerous. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. He'll have a go here. Goodness gracious me! How about that for technique? You can't strike them much better than that. Well, look at the replay here, because they don't come much better than this. He hits it so sweetly. What a goal this is. Well, the 
ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? O'Neill. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Oh, it's a penalty. Just what they wanted to avoid, given the scoreline. Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty, yes, yellow card, no. A chance to extend the lead. And he puts it away confidently. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. Second goal for them here. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. And a strong tackle. A bit sloppy in possession. And continues his run. Now he must favour the cross. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Well, big news I'm hearing. A penalty has been awarded in one of the other games. Alex Scott with the details. Yes, it was a penalty for Portsmouth. The confidence as he stepped up to take that penalty. He striked it in the bottom corner. It's now 1-0 with under five minutes left to play till half-time. Thank you, Alex. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. On his own with only the keeper to beat. But he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. That's why he's missed the target there. Smith. That is how to apply the pressure. Well, a shot from miles out. Still possibilities. Well, a time for composure on the ball. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Coming onto the pitch, number 10, Moisa. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. O'Neill. It's with Williams. He's lost it. Could be threatening. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. O'Neill. 
Well, no stopping him. And space to cross it. Takes the shot. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. High pressing at its best. Well, he's lost it. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. O'Neill. Well, we're into the final half hour. Well, a good tackle. Asking a lot to score from there. Goalkeeper's ball. That's what you call defending from the front. Goodness gracious me! How about that for technique? You can't strike them much better than that! Well, look at the replay here, because they don't come much better than this. He hits it so sweetly. What a goal this is. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Keeper diving to thwart it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? The clearance wasn't decisive. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Racing away here. Well then there to tidy up. Into the final 20 minutes. Might really be able to trouble them here. Keeping the opposition at bay with that splendid challenge. Well, putting it wide from there, disappointing. Substitution for Cambridge and a substitution in the office. Number eight, Liam O'Neill, to be replaced by number 23, Jack Lancaster. Smith, and really closing him down, pressing high, and they have the ball again, making sure it didn't get past him. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Speculative effort, always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, that's in the remit of any referee to stop play. It's what he's going to do so the player can receive attention. A 
Now, following that stoppage, the referee will restart the game with a drop ball. He'll take this on. Well, the goalkeeper is thankful that it wasn't a better effort than it actually was. Playing with purpose and control. Firing it towards goal. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today.